Hi friends, this is Madhu from Madhu Tech Skills Computer Education. Today we are going to discuss about most important frequently asked interview point of question called what is a pointer and does Java support pointers? We know that pointers is a concept which is supported by languages like C and C++ but Java doesn't support pointers concept. Why Java doesn't support pointers? We'll discuss about it later. Before that, let us know what is pointer first. Okay? A pointer is a variable where we can store the address of another variable. Or in a pointer variable, I can store the address of an array. In a pointer variable, I can store the address of a structure. In a pointer variable, I can store the address of another pointer variable also if you want. Like that, in a pointer variable, I can store the address of another variable, a structure, or an array, or another pointer. I have just given a small example here. First statement here, whenever this first statement is executed, for A, 2 bytes memory will be allocated, and in that block, I am storing 100. And this block has an address called 1002. Okay. And whenever this second statement is executed, it is a pointer variable. In C or C++, if you want to declare a pointer variable by using asterisk symbol, we can declare a pointer variable. We can say it is a star symbol. Okay. So whenever this statement is executed, for P also 2 bytes memory will be allocated. And in that P, in the third statement, I am storing the address of A. Here, by using ampersand as symbol in C, we can get the address of one variable. So here, I'm getting the address of A and storing in a P. So now P contains address of A, that is 1002. And this block also has separate address called 2002. For example, for P also, we have allocated memory in a RAM and it has some address that is called 2002. So what I have done here is I have declared a variable, normal int type variable, and I have stored the address of that variable in a pointer variable p. And I would like to give some more clarity. Whenever I print the a, address of a, see what is the address of a? That is 1002. So whenever I print the address of a, output will be 1002. Whenever I print the P, P contains 1002. That means address of A. So, whenever I print the P, 1002 is the output. Whenever I print the address of P, that is what 2002, isn't it? And whenever I print the A, the value of the PA will be printed. Value of the A is 100, isn't it? That 100 will be displayed. So, whenever I print the star P, which means I am trying to print the value existed in the 1002 address. P is a pointer variable, it has the address, it contains the address, and in that address we have some value. If you want to print that value, use the star P, print star P. If you print the star P, output will be 100. Okay? <clears throat> Next. Now, we got clear idea about what is pointer. So, pointer is a variable where we can store address of another variable, another pointer variable, or an array structure etc what are the disadvantages of pointers why java doesn't support pointers if we use pointers in java there is a chance of security issues java is most securable language and if you develop applications in java we can provide more security because it has such type of advantages. If you use pointers, there is a chance of developing harmful programs like virus programs, hacking programs, and also by using pointers, you can directly enter into the memory. But in Java, we have provided security. Nobody can enter directly into the memory. Nobody can access the values exist in the memory directly. If you want to access the value from a memory, you have to ask the JVM. JVM will get that value and gives it to us. So, in Java, we are providing more security. 
nobody can enter directly into the memory no programmer can write the program to directly enter into the memory because everything will take care by jvm for that purpose only to provide security pointers are removed from the java because point, by using pointers i can directly enter into the memory i can directly access the value which is existed in separate memory location location okay that's why pointers are removed from the java and second advantage second disadvantage is improper handling of pointers leads to memory leakages memory leakage drawback is the main disadvantage of memory leakage is the program will be hanged in middle of execution the program will be terminated from middle of execution that's the main problem of memory leakages improper handling of pointers leads to memory leakages next pointers leads to confusion for a programmer if you use pointers in a program like c or c++ it will increases the confusion for the programmer or developer next third disadvantage is another disadvantage is if you perform any operations like addition subtraction or multiplication on two pointers by mistake your program will be crashed immediately program execution ends there itself so like this we have so many drawbacks that's why java doesn't support pointers okay so today we have discussed about what is a pointer and does java support pointers or not i thought that you have clearly understand this entry point equation for more videos please subscribe our channel madhu tech skills thank you friends bye